Hello, welcome to ATC Online. In this video, I'll show you what you can expect from your lessons, and I'll also show you how you can log on to the ATC platform and access your classes. In your lessons, you will be asked to identify a problem or a question, and your job will be to find the solution to this problem. You will have the opportunity to research and discover new information. You'll work with a partner or in a group to create a solution, to make something or to design something. Then you will present it to the class. And finally, you will be asked to reflect on how well you did the task and how you might change the task in the future. The most important thing in these lessons is that you're communicating with your classmates. In these lessons, you'll meet Irish students and students from other countries around Europe. It's very important that you take the opportunity to make new friends and communicate as much as you can during the lessons. The teachers are there to help you as much as they can and everybody is really excited to see such a diverse group of students take part in such an interesting course. In this course, we would like to develop your 21st century skills. These are things such as collaboration, which means working together, digital literacy, which means confidence when using technology. We want to help you be creative and to use your innovation. We like to see lots of communication, and this is one of the most important skills that we will be helping you develop. Problem solving, critical thinking, and career and life skills are all central to the lessons that you will take part in. For this to work, it's very important that you communicate with each other as much as you can. The first lesson might feel a little bit difficult because nobody will know each other at that point. However, as we go through day two and day three, you'll find that it's easier to talk to your classmates and the teacher. Being online is very different to being in class face to face, and I'm sure you've all had lots of online lessons in the past. I'd like to remind you now of what ATC expects from students online. We ask you to respect each other. So when a student is speaking, make sure you listen. And when the teacher is speaking, make sure you listen. Help each other if you can and try to be kind and polite. Speak clearly when the teacher asks you to speak and remember that everybody is from a different country. So the clearer you can speak, the better everyone can listen to you. You may be uh, at home taking these lessons. So it's very important that you remove personal things from the view of the camera. So it's good to have a blank wall behind you with no photos and nothing personal. Don't take videos or photos of the lesson unless the teacher says, OK. If everybody is happy for a photo to be taken, the teacher will say OK, and then you can take your photo. However, if the teacher says no, then it is not OK to take a photo or a video. Now I will talk about how you log on to the ATC learning platform. You will receive an email just like this one. When you open the email, it will have your name and it will tell you your username and password, which will be the same. So this is my account. I have the link to log in. I have my temporary username here 
and I have my temporary password here. So I'm going to click the link And it's important that you scroll down the page like so. If you can't find the area to log in, you click here, student login. Now I put in my username. and my password. When you log in for the first time, you must change your password. I recommend that you change it to something simple. I'm going to change my password to my name, J-O-A-N-N-E, and again. You should look at the terms and conditions. Or have a parent read the terms and conditions. And the privacy policy. Then accept and start. Here you see a flashing message which says click here to access your STEAM lessons. On Monday morning you click the link and you will see a password here. You must remember the password. Click the link and that will take you to your online lesson and you will see your teacher there. This link will always be here when you log in and it's the same link for your whole course. So remember that this is where you can access your lessons. If you scroll down and you click on calendar, you can see your lessons for every day and you see the main task, the materials needed and the homework for that day, which is optional. If you click on information, you can see an overview of the materials for each week. So here are the materials for week A. And you can see everything here. And here are the materials for week B. If you need help, you can click the help button here. Contact support. And you can email the help desk. This is if you're having technical difficulties with your online platform. If you have any other difficulties, you should tell your teacher during your lesson. When you click home, it takes you back to your calendar and you can see everything that you're going to do during the week. When your lesson is finished, you can log out of the platform by clicking on the circle and clicking log out.
I hope you found this video helpful. Remember that your teacher can help you with any question you have. And we can't wait to see you on the STEAM course.